But first, plenty of us take pictures of the skyline, the lakefront, or Millennium Park. But a loose affiliation of photographers explores the city through its neglected places. At personal risk and sometimes legal jeopardy, they look for beauty in forgotten and faded locales. Producer Mark Vitale met one such photographer in search of abandoned Chicagoland. Time seems to stand still as built environments are slowly reclaimed by nature. The settings might suggest Stephen King or bring to mind heavy metal album covers. But where some see scary, others see opportunity. We would just drive around and sometimes you'd find stuff that's in plain sight, but that, um, you know, that was compelling. And, th and this is one of them. This is by Steelworkers Park at 87th and the Lakefront, where massive concrete walls once held iron ore bound for the U.S. steel plant known as Southworks. It's interesting to, to come to a place like this and, and try to imagine, okay, well, what was this like in the 60s when, you know, the steel mills across the street were still humming? Jerry Olenichak has a blue-collar day job with an auto detailer. His hobby has grown into a dedicated side hustle. His first book on the subject rediscovers abandoned Chicagoland, from Kenosha to Gary and all points between. There are no people in the photos. Sometimes it looks like they left in a hurry or might return at any moment. There's a baseline sort of sadness and poignancy to, to almost all these shots, but strictly on an aesthetic level, I think decay can be beautiful. You know, the American Rust Belt obviously is a, uh, is a gold mine for this kind of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can go with the photograph. You can be very sort of documentarian, just show it as it is and kind of leave it be. But the camera is different than the human eye. So the human eye sees things a little differently. So sometimes you actually need a decent amount of tweaking, at least that's what I do, to have the same emotional resonance that it did when you were there looking at it. Ole Nichak is part of an unofficial alliance of like-minded photographers around the world. They practice so-called urbex photography, named for urban exploration, though it's not always strictly urban. The urbex community is really a network, and, you know, you talk people up and you make connections because, you know, I mean, I might be able to find almost everything that there is to find around Chicago, but, you know, I'm not going to be able to do that in New York or Detroit or St. Louis, so you got to count on people to, you know, give you some intel. I've known Jerry Olenichak for about 10 years. He's always planning his next photography trip that might take him from Saskatchewan to Chernobyl. The opportunity to see a former town of 50,000 people that's left almost intact, you know, plus of course with the, the history that goes along with it is, is incredible. So it, it, was, it was worth the trip. Olenichak had a guide on that trip, but many excursions might involve a bit of actual trespassing. There's definitely legal risks. Those are honestly I, I, the thing that I worry about the most. There's some places where they don't, nobody cares if you're in, and then there's some places where if you get caught, you know, it's a felony or a misdemeanor or jail time or something like that. And with personal hazards everywhere, the urbex photographer is wise to shoot with a group. Let's face it, some of these places can be a little risky. I mean, I've, I've had a friend fall through the floor in a department store and uh, I had to pull her out. Urbex photography even has a derisive nickname, ruin porn. I would like to think that the difference between ruin porn versus what I put out is the difference between pornography and tasteful erotica. This is a great hobby, and for any of those that are interested in maybe trying it out, think, be cautious, wear good shoes, and always wear long pants. And do it legally, kids. Do it legally. For Chicago Tonight, this is Mark Vitale. The book, Abandoned Chicago Land, was just published. You can visit our website to find out more about the photographer and to see a slideshow of his work.